I am the awesome tutor and today we're going to be looking at lenses. Now lenses, they alter the path of light as they pass through them. Either refracting them away or towards a single point. And the curve of the lens determines the amount of refraction. So say the lens is like that. That's not very curved. So the light passing through it will not be that, refra that much refracted. Say we have a much more curved lens. If the lens is more curved, then, say that's the normal, the light rays will be bent or refracted more. And in this case, it's towards a single point. But it doesn't have to be curved outwards to refract light. It could be more curved inwards. <laughs> That's a bad drawing. Inwards, like that. And see the light's coming here. See, that's the normal. This is obviously much more curved than this. And this, again, more curved than this. This lens refracts the light rays towards a single point, whereas this lens, it's going to refract them away from a single point. And that's the difference between these two lenses. And that's what we're going to go on to next. Okay, so here we have our two types of lenses. A concave lens, or diverging lens, and a convex lens, or converging lens. Now both of them refract light, but in different ways. The concave or diverging lens refracts light away from a single point. And the convex or converging lens refracts light towards a single point. Let's zoom into this. Okay, so again, this is a concave or a diverging lens. And we want to find two things, the principal focus and the focal length. First of all, let's draw our light rays. Now, where do you think the normal line is going to be? Right there. In the middle. And of course, as I said, it refracts the light rays. But this lens does not refract them towards a single point. It refracts them away from a single point. But the middle one, if it is directly in the middle and straight, it's not going to be refracted. But this one is. So as you can see, they are refracted away from a single point. But what, what is this single point and what is it called? This single point that we're talking about is the principal focus. And to find the principal focus in a generic Ray, in a generic lens diagram like this, you have to find out where the rays cross over. Wait a minute. How can the rays cross over if they're going away from the single point? Watch this. We cannot find the focal point on that side, right? But we can find it on this side. Imagine these are straight lines. The lines cross over. Here's our principal focus. Wrong! That's not our principal focus, because the light rays are going there. But what we can do is we can find the focal length and the focal length is going to be from the normal let me do this in a different color from the normal to 
the focal point. That's going to be the focal length, either in centimeters or... Yeah, centimeters is probably going to be the most probable unit. So, there is where your focal point would be, but you want that on the other side. So you find the focal length, but then you're on this side. Now you have the focal length, and so you can draw the focal point. That will be the focal point, which is also called the principal focus, which can be represented by a big F. And this is the focal length. But, so that's how you find out the focal point, principal focus, and the focal length on a converge, on a diverging concave lens. Now let's move on to the other lens. Okay, so now we're back with the convex, or converging lens. Let's draw the light rays. Remember, always one at the top, one at the bottom, and one in the middle. That's what you will be. That's what you will be required to draw in your exam if they ask you to do so. Where is the normal? It's in the middle. And the thing about the convex or converging lens, it's not going to refract light away from a single point. It's going to refract them towards a single point. But as I said, the middle straight one does not refract. This one does. Oh, look at that. Towards a single point. You don't have to do all that complicated stuff like in the concave diverging lens. Here, you've got your single point easily indicated by the crossing over of the light rays. So that's going to be your principal Focus. Now how do you find the focal length? Well, that's easy. From the normal to the principal focus. That's going to be your focal length. Now one thing you will notice about these light rays is they are parallel. And in your exam, you have to draw these lines parallel. And of course, remember to use a ruler. If you don't use a ruler, you might... It looks better with a ruler, okay? So, yeah. Now let's zoom out. Okay, so the easiest way to remember which lens is which is not through the convex and concave names, but through the diverging and converging names. So you can call this lens a diverging lens or a concave lens, and you can call this lens a converging or a convex lens. But I find it easier to call them diverging and converging because you can relate these names to what the lenses actually do. The diverging lens makes light rays, refracts light rays away from a single point, and so the light rays are diverging from a single point. The converging lens refracts light towards a single point, so the light rays converge. If you don't know what converging and diverging means, then this, <laughs> then this probably wasn't helpful for you. Uh, search it up. I guess you could say for the concave lens, it looks like the lens is caving in on itself, but yeah, there, there's not really an easy way to remember this unless you know what converging and diverging means. Now let's move on to the basic uses of lenses. Okay, so on to the basic uses of lenses, and you can see that the concave or diverging lens has much less uses than the converging lens. Now, first of all, your eye, your eye itself is a converging lens. 
and in glasses. A converging lens in glasses helps people who have long sight to see normally. Now a camera uses a converging lens, a camera uses converging lens to form a real image of an object. We'll go over what real and virtual images mean in a later video. A magnifying glass is used to form a virtual image of an object, and obviously the object is magnified. Hence the name magnifying glass. So all of these use converging lenses. They might ask you in your exam to give a couple of examples of uses of uh, lenses, or they might give you an example itself in a question. So, yeah. Now for concave or diverging lens, the main use is for glasses, for people who have short sight.